Hi, Scott Jagow and Natalie Voss of the Pollock Report. We're at Gulfstream Park. This weekend is the Florida Derby. It is our first trip here, and we're kind of blown away by the uniqueness of this racetrack. How would you describe it? Well, I describe it as a track that instead of um, resisting development and trying to stay out on the edge of the city, it's embracing development. It's bringing the city to the track and trying to bring people to the track that way. With shopping and restaurants and bars, they're going to build condominiums. There's going to be an, a unique supermarket we'll tell you about. And one other thing, a 13-story horse. A thousand tons of bronze and steel will go into building Pegasus, the centerpiece of a new park next to the racetrack. When crews finish assembling the artwork, it'll stand as tall as the Statue of Liberty minus the base. You know, obviously there's nothing like it anywhere. And um, it's more of a landmark or, um, you know, to brand a place as a destination place. Gulfstream Village, adjacent to the paddock, is already a destination for shopping and dining, but there's much more to come, including a high-rise with 182 condominiums. With prices ranging from $200,000 to nearly a million dollars, a third of the units have already been sold. It'll be a spectacular view and built to the standards that everything else Mr. Stronach has touched. Another touch on the way, this complex will feature a steakhouse serving only grass-fed beef from Frank Stronach's Adina Springs Ranch. Stronach will also open his own high-end gourmet supermarket next door. Other coming attractions include a sports bar, a wine bar, and a bowling alley. But it's not all about the front side. With Gulfstream's recent push to year-round racing, the track has added two enormous open-air barns, each one 600 feet long with 184 stalls. What we find is the horses love it because even though you're inside and under cover, you still feel like you're outside. You go to the backside or new barns in the back and they're a lot smaller and darker, but this is so nice and open. You might say all of this investment, building a mini city around the track, is part of a 21st century approach to sustain racing. It's not just about giving away a bunch of money in the purses and then the game's going to come back. It's this new and innovative way of thinking that uh, it's a cool entertainment place. And by the way, oh, there's a horse track there. Wow, let me go see this. And we're seeing that every day. Ritvo says while win, place, and show make up 31% of bets nationwide, at Gulfstream, those wagers have been more like 45%. It suggests the people coming here for all the other amenities are finding their way to the betting windows, too. I'm Scott Jagow for the Pollock Report.